left in the backdrop. That happened a couple times. Yeah. So we got to go and tow it. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. So that gives us that. I just didn't know if this is. Yeah. It gives us that flexibility to. Right. You know, I mean, if it's broken down, that's one thing, but if it's just left there impeding our business, then we need to have the ability to tow it. Thing I had. Okay, and we did discuss um, the transfer fee of um, uh, owners to tenants. Um, I did send a form to um, the HOA um, to put in the package that we can do in the future. Um, they were fine with it. I just wanted to wait till we had this approved to have them start that. Um, and what that is, if a renter comes in and they're a golfer. Um, as all the most other clubs, there's a transfer fee, so they have the ability to get the resident rates, um, and it would be a form signed <coughs> as part of their lease application. Um, so they fill out all those other forms, and if they choose to play golf, <coughs> they would pay that fee. And um, and I've got a spreadsheet that would go to the uh, pro shop that they could check and make sure that. John Smith rented from Bob Brown, and yes, he's paid that fee, and then he could then get the resident rates. The recommendation of the board is to do that for 21 22. That might be a little late in the game. It's too late in the game to start it this year. So we're going to start it. Um, yes, ma'am. I would say let's start it with the next, next fiscal year because people will start renting and start filling out their applications late summer. So that would be good. Plenty of notice to the people who do rent their homes. Right. It's going to be an added cost to do that if you wish to do it. Right. So we'll start it with the next fiscal year and um, make sure that, um, and I'll talk to Tammy and Nicole and just say that that needs to be in the package for anybody that's going to be renting and filling that out. So we're good with that. And they were fine with, the, uh, with that, putting that in. Okay. Okay. Um, do I have any public comments with in relation to this? Yes. Are you asking me? Yes, did you? Oh, I wasn't prepared, but you know, I've been real interested. We used to know how we stood with the bonds, and I'm just saying we'd finish paying off the bonds in 24. So the, Is that right? Yes, the, your portion will be finished in 20, 2023. 20, 20, 20, 20, 20, and we'll be finished in 2027, and we're currently up to date. As a matter of fact, we're one year ahead, and and we should be, shouldn't be an issue. Uh, going forward, right. uh, you know, it was pretty scary right around the first part of COVID, but it looks like we kind of pushed through that and got to the other side, hopefully. Because we had even it asked about doing an abatement, and, and Dan had suggested it was far more expensive to do that. Let's just pay it while we can until we can. And fortunately, we have been able to to pay that. So, 2023 is for the residents, and 27 is for the golf course. Curiosity: Is the building and the parking lot two separate entities, or are they one? It's all one. It's all one. one. So that price is with the parking lot. If we bought, if we bought the clubhouse. Yeah. Yes. <laughs> Any other public comments? I just have a question regarding rate changes. Yes. Can we be assured that this season the league and group rates will not go up because we budgeted events based on existing rates? We're no. not gonna, we're not gonna raise the rates this season. No ma'am. No. That was what we when when the league started for the season, we told you this was the price and that will be the price for the season. Okay. Yeah, no we're not gonna Okay. Um, okay, can I have a motion to accept this um, 20? <coughs> this is cool. I'll make a motion. 21. Resolution 21-02. Correct. I'll sign this to the brief. Okay. Mr. Brady. All in favor? Aye. Aye. Opposed? <coughs> okay, it passes. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Okay. 
Okay, um, we did receive the, um, the one form from the attorney. Um, well, I reached out to two, um, had a response from one. Um, I did nudge the other one, still did not receive a response. Um, not what your pleasure is today. I think the person who kind of precipitated this is not here with us today. So, so let's just put it off. We'll defer it. I'll see in the meantime if I can uh, secure a second one as well for your discussions. And okay. We'll uh, carry it on your February agenda. Okay. Very good. Thank you. Um, update on the Landscape Committee. I met with the Landscape Committee. Um, we have uh, five people that are very interested in participating. Um, has some great ideas about um, cleaning up the berms so we can actually see coming out of the streets. Um, the general consensus was let's start with the, the main area um, so when people come in they can see it and then and work our way out. Um, I've asked the committee to go around and I've gotten pictures and comments from several people saying this would be nice, we could do this, why don't we try this. Um, Chuck, I need just the names of a couple of landscape architects that we can contact. I'll shoot you a couple. Okay, and then um, I'm hoping to have a meeting with them again in early February and um, get some more information to them and hopefully have, um, actually one of the gentlemen gave me the name of uh, somebody um, in Florida, um, I don't know, I forget what it was, I haven't written it down to have him come and talk about what type of landscaping and what kind of plants and things could be used, should be used, most effective. Um, one of the... Um, Excuse me, Alan, do you have a date for that? I don't yet. Um, I want to, um, you know, I'll talk to you because it's it's more... Sure. I have to work around your schedule and, you know, when you're doing things, so I'll let you know. Okay. Uh, it'll be early February, first or second week. Um, I'll have to do it early. Um, so I'm so um, but it, w it was really a very good meeting, and as I'm driving around, I'm looking at, I know we talked about knocking down some of the berms, but just coming out of, well, I'm coming out of poor brush, and I'm thinking, all those big bushes, wouldn't it look really nice to get them out and put dwarf palms and some of the, the low plantings? I mean, that would give you a full sight down there. So these are things, and, and Jeff, the next time the committee meets, I'd like to use the big bus. Okay. So we as a group can go around and look and say, you know, these are the ideas we have for this. Not so, a problem. Um, we might need two of them, but, you know, we'll work on that. So um, I will get that out. But the, the committee seems to be really excited about doing this, and it's an ongoing project. The one thing that we are not going to touch at this point is the um, roundabouts and the cul-de-sacs, because when we do the roads, we want to tighten them up so that there's not as much damage as the big trucks go around. And that was John's idea. So um, I will keep you posted on that. And for the next meeting, I will have um, something in the, the package explaining what we were doing and how it's going. But Elizabeth's on there. And so but I think going around on the bus from road to road would be a good idea as we go by. Sounds good. OK. Um, Okay, um, that's at the unordered financials. Okay, um, the money for the um, governmental funds, debt service, we're doing fine with that. And governmental funds, we're, we're doing okay, which is good. Um, okay, um, landscaping. Here today, um, it looks like we've only received one payment from TAQ for the landscaping because we should have received by end of December 3. And it looks like we've only received one. Should I ask them tomorrow or is it something that uh, I should take care of that one. I think I thought I saw some email exchange between you and the vendor over the holidays on that subject. Right, but you know, looking at the current December 31st, it looks like they've only paid one, and they should have paid three at this point. Doesn't hurt to poke the bear, I suppose. Okay. Since you'll have the bear tomorrow. Right there. Okay, <laughs> I will bring that up and question them. That was my one question on. Unlike you, we have stayed current. <laughs> yes. Hmm. 
we can send an amendment. Yeah. Now, yeah. Right? Double it. Double it. Yeah. It's late. <laughs> yeah. Huh. Well, okay. okay. We might have to work on that. Okay. Um, for the um, in series seven, we're ninety-one percent of budget savings and paying their taxes. Um, so our last payment for the residents will be due in May first of twenty-three. So we're, we're right on target with all of that. Um, irrigation fund is fine. I know we still owe you money. We'll get to that. We'll win the lottery. I was trying, sure. I was trying. Um, the irrigation fund is we're in good shape there. Um, cash balances, we're doing fine with our cash balances. We are over last year at this point, but we do have some expenses coming up. Um, to the um, consolidated report, it looks like um, we are doing well. I did have um, all right, John, you had some questions with regard to the financials. <coughs> yeah. Because um, th these are the same financials we got last week over online. Um, right. they, they've changed since then. Uh, since but there's still some issues. But there's still that. some major issues, okay. yeah. So um, on, on my financials here under the uh, Pro Shop Golf Course, um, for the current month, uh, it has a line item at the top that says capital outlay 10 for 21,000. So, one, we need to figure out, I guess we're, we're gonna, we need to capitalize that. I think that also hit Jeff's administrative. It did, it did, it actually hit, um, hold on to that. It did a couple different spots, but. Uh, so did we buy three tenths? No. Okay. There's a couple of different expenses involved with the tent, the tent physically, the, the, the pavers, the, the electrical, and you know, okay. all that stuff. Anyway, point being, it, it hit a couple different spots. There were, I, I had sent Lucy a, a text asking about, if I look at office supplies, $8,625, and actually, actually that was put on in the end of November, part of November, and then it, it is, I've got the line, description of that and that is tent as well and I think that's the physical tent. That's the physical tent. That needs to, now can we capitalize all the um, the electric and everything else along with the tent? We should be able to I think. I think you can do utilities. Okay. The pavers that we did. The pavers. The, pavers. And the pavers. The tent. Well it looks like they're trying to do that but I don't know why they would include a capital expense into into a, 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 this report. Normally, it doesn't hit on this report. Right. It, it would be, not be part of it. Yeah. Um, and also with that, the pavers are also in the Lake Bank Restoration. Um, and that needs to be capitalized as well. That needs to be capitalized. And that, that right there is on me. I told Crosby to put that in there. I wasn't. Um, I wasn't paying attention when that, that needs to be coupled with the actual tent. Together for capitalization. So can this you? This is not an issue. So I'll, we'll get that taken care of. You two can take care of that and get it capitalized. Yeah. Okay. Um, payroll taxes and fees were very, you know, it says I'm 46,000, almost 47,000 under, which is it's impossible. That's not. Um, I didn't get any feedback on that yet. Lucy said she couldn't find the uncoded, which we also call miscellaneous, um, when I asked for the uh, details. Um, there's a $73,000 hit in there for I have no idea for what for. So I'm until I was wondering if it's just a um... Jeff was thinking maybe it was both of our payrolls, but I don't think so. I looked at his payroll for how much it was for a month and that, that doesn't add up. But now remember the December the because the second December payroll didn't go until right. January. Uh -huh. Right. Okay. So it could well be but, but I'm not a hundred percent sure. I'd like to see the whole detail. Yeah. So you asked her to give you the detail of that. Correct. And then also I have a equipment lease that says the, on the very bottom of my uh, financials, the le very last equipment lease says for a workman that actually belongs. That's the new workman for the common grounds. That actually belongs to the common grounds budget. Okay. For the general fund. Um, Can you have them change that? I'll, I'll send Lucy. Yeah. Uh, I CC no? Chuck. You know what I mean with these emails to Lucy and okay. just. Stay on top of that. We try to get this worked out, um, and then also, 
Pin Golf Service. Uh, that was the the uh, range match got put in there. That should also be capitalized as well. Okay. Um, so I'll make a note to have her capitalize that. Is anybody still working from home, Chuck? Mm -hmm. yeah. But I think we, Lucy can't do that. I think we have to call Pender directly, right? Because Pender wants to know how long, how many years you want to capitalize it for and all that stuff. Yeah, that, that's a Jeff thing. Um, how many years can we capitalize the mats for? Minimum year? five, right? Four years and the ten. Five. 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 Okay. Four, five. You want to do a match for four? What was the uh, price? Well, was they made four, actually. Yeah. They made yeah. four years last time. Yeah, okay. I would, I would go five. Okay. I think five. Five years. It might need a replacement for but yeah, it's going to go five. So is it five years on the, yeah. on the mats? What's the length expectancy on your mats? I mean, yeah, that's what you're four, trying to match up. It's about that. That's yeah, what yeah. you're trying to match four. up with. So. Weather has yeah. a big weather. Yeah. Well, yeah, hey, hurricane. Hopefully, we'll have another hurricane. <laughs> But if we do, we know to take well, the Yeah, we got them mapped out, we got them labeled. So if anything, that was the big. That was one of the big issues with it last time. Yeah. Is that they flew off with the storm. And we're actually going to be going around and doing some repairs on the uh, actual uh, borders. Borders on it. Yeah, we got those pieces in last week, late last week. So okay. we're just kind of working on this drainage stuff right now. And we get some slow time. We'll go over. It. Okay. And um, yeah, so that, that's really it. Um, those were the, the major issues I have. Um, the uh, tent, what, what did we say we want to capitalize that for? Five years. Five. five as well? Yeah. And that'll be with the pavers. It's pavers you buy. One last forever. Do you want to not put the pavers in it? You can put the pavers in, but this is, you know, 20 years on the pavers. I mean, it's all like. It's relevant, but it's irrelevant. I mean, you're talking about what, you know, what the uh, depreciation line is going to look right. like and when it's going to go up, and it kind of adds to what the bottom line looks like, even though it's not realized cash. It's right. still part of it. Uh, Chuck, so let me ask you uh, this. Um, the fact that the pavers were only 9000 I thought it has to be a minimum of ten, or is it five? I believe it's 7500 Okay, good. Because I just want to make sure if I ask, lose, you know, where Brought that up. Can you, in one item, can you do this for 10 years and this for five? Yeah, just gotta, I believe it's 7,500. I don't know if you get there with the papers, do you? Nine grand on papers. Oh, okay. You're there. Okay. Did, you, did you add the uh, tent to your inland marine coverage? That was a good question. My I don't go with the LH code, I'm not sure. I did, I did text him and, and ask him to, so I'll just make sure it's on there. Double check. So those are the issues I have, and I'll, I'll CC you with Lucy and anybody else I have to contact. But I think Jeff usually does the capitalization portion. Yeah, so I'll, I'll email him. Email him and just copy Lucy so she knows what's going on. Yeah. yeah. Okay. Um, Jeff, a quick question. We still have the storage unit? We do. Okay. Do you know it? The paper, the, you know. Yeah. When we have the opportunity, I'm sure that there's a lot of let's stuff. Let's wait. Let's wait for the audit because the okay. little questions are coming up in the audit about paper, and I'm telling Nick, I'm like, well, we will call it digital, and most of that's in the cloud, and he's like, eh. he's hemming and hawing about cloud. You know, like for example, uh, John gives X employee, or I give X employee a raise. That all needs to be documented documented in the, through SOI's services in the cloud, but it's not documented in paper. And it's kind of him and on about, okay, no, we got to have that in paper. And and the time cards. Do you email somebody about yeah. a raise? Yeah. That's your paper. Yeah. I do that all the time. That suffices. So just the like government takes, it's okay. Virtual. I know, yeah. I know this, I know this. I thought we were getting away with you. Um, and then, you know, like time cards, like he wants us to initial each time card. Well, there's an Excel spreadsheet that we pass to Crosby, it comes from us, that I, it's courtesy copy to me and I sign off on. It shows the time. But you know what? I just initial the time cards and all of that. You know? It's not that big a deal. It takes all two minutes. It's a little old school. But I always look at Nick and the audit as, He's there, 
if he did, if he wrote a report and said everything's great and everything's perfect, yeah, he'd What's be out of purpose? a job. Yeah. So yeah. Nice guy. Something. I like him. Good. Okay. Um, one other thing, trash mo removal. Why are we so high? Mm. Actually, this month it was eight hundred eighty-nine dollars. Well, that's about. Uh, I mean, that would be two hundred <laughs> over two sixty. I can't see. So, I mean, we can just look at that. I mean, I, it just looked like it was um, a little high. So, just take a look at it. Yeah. Um, so, what's happening here? Is it's not getting split up with the common grounds. Every time we get a load of debris removed, okay. Um, I, I forget what the common grounds number is. We we just split it. Okay. They, they they pay us a portion of it, and we pay another portion every time we get a load. That's just how we do it. Okay. And the other thing with the dumpster, when did the HOA pay us last year? Because they're paying us to. They did pay us last year. And I don't remember. Yeah, I was in the summertime. No, I remember getting that check and. Yeah, okay, so we'll that. ask them again this spring. I can ask Tammy when I, yeah. I think okay. she's going to do it, yeah, because I think she said she's going to do it like January 1 every year. Okay, I will ask her uh, because, you know, if they're, and we haven't had a problem really since the, no. okay, but since it's locked up. Okay, good. Um, any other questions with the financials? Okay, um, can I have a motion to accept it? Second. Second. All in favor? Aye. Aye. Opposed? Thank you. Um, oh, the minutes of the meeting. Okay. Um, page one, was there any changes? Um, page two. That was all the changes that we had. I went through all that. Okay. I had it on three, uh, line 92. I think that's supposed to be Mr. Nixon. Research the cost of GPS tags. Yes. On four, 134, okay. does it make this for them? Okay. Um, I know one, I'm sorry, one, 134. Oh, yeah, that was at the, um, the new tent. Okay. On five, on 152, did we have a hurricane? Yeah, yeah. Off, uh, well, it wasn't a landing hurricane. It was 80 miles offshore, but it, it was one. It was a, yeah, it was a I remember the one it went. It went. It, it looped went. and came back and went yeah. okay. yeah. um John, did you get the left handed player signs only? Please? Yes, they're up. They are up, okay. I haven't been over there. so. Yeah, because I, um, just a mental note, since you said that, I noticed uh, we've had a couple of busted light bulbs. And what's happened is when the ball hits up top, some of the light bulbs are so close. Oh. So it's just something we gotta, there's no way to really pull them off. You know, it's not gonna be a bunch of them, it's just a, like one or two. Yeah, I'm, I'm pretty sure it's just a luck shot, you know, type thing. But, so or a crack it's, that's shot. really gonna help that out. Okay. Well, pretty amazing how many balls come that direction. Oh. Yeah. Yeah. Well, I remember one time doing junior not golf with Jordan and some kid on 18 got hit by a ball from the driving range. <laughs> so, yeah. okay. And we tightened all the ropes on that up not too long ago. Joe asked us to do that, so it's all, because it was looking a little loose, some of the straps, and then we went around it every single one, tightened it down. Tightened it down, okay. And that's something with the wind we may have to do on the Yeah, road. so you want to check on probably monthly, and just move, walk around, grab, and see how, you know, the guy's slacking. Okay. Um, on 170, I don't know who Miss McVeigh is, yeah, but that yeah. must be. Uh... She's with one of my other districts. I don't know how she <laughs> calls me. I'm pretty sure that should say Miss Huff. Huff, so. yes. I'm not sure who won the second, though. Um, yeah. Pick somebody. We'll put Mr. Debrino. There you go. Okay. Um, page 173. 
on page nine, um, on 268, that's Mr. Simonson, not Mr. Olive. And again, on 272, that was Mr. Simonson, not Mr. Debrino. Okay. Can I have a motion to accept these? Make a motion to accept. Is it Second. Second. All in favor? Aye. Uh, Opposed? Um, Dan, do you have anything for us? Uh, the only thing I'll add is I have put out a couple of the uh, ramp statements and he has put in the insurance for them. Okay, thank can you. Email, can you ask me to email that to us? Can you email that to um, Jeff and I so we're prepped for a meeting tomorrow? Sure will. Thank you very much. And in that file that, that I sent around like, uh, a few days ago, that uh, I have the original lease uh, here in there. Oh, okay. But I'll send them again to you and Okay, thank you. And, and uh, would, is there a possibility that you might be trying to bill us for the deductible? For a potential deductible? Uh, yeah, but I mean, it, 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 that's fine. I mean, that's a heck of a lot of $50,000. No, no, no. I'm saying, is it, for whatever reason, is the $50,000 potentially a deductible package? I'm just I'm curious. Up with you, but that's part of it. Could be. Right, right. Would we potentially be responsible for a deductible? Yeah. yeah. I mean, that's a heck of a deductible, but. Well, based on what he's doing, yeah. Yeah, that would be unusual. I would expect it to be no more than $5,000. I'm going to try to copy it. I'm just curious. So Good point. There okay. Could be that. Yeah. Deductible sounds like a crazy deductible. Sounds outrageous, but for, the, for all the work they've done. Okay. And Dan, I got your email yesterday. I'm working on sending some more of those um, emails to you that um, got lost in your hard drive. I really appreciate it. You uh, uh, not a good day. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. When you lose everything, it's kind of crazy. Um, yeah, and, and you know, the thing was about when my dad, like, at Christmas, and I stayed there for almost three weeks. And I just take all of my backup properties. Normally, I have a backup every time. Oh, okay. So that's why it's that specific number right here. It is. Okay. Um, Dan, have we heard any more from the, um, the storm drain issue? Or the woman? I'm actually not handling that. Oh, Chuck's handling that. I'm handling that. She's, um, as soon as she gets her, her bill, she's going to submit them. It should only be a few hundred dollars. She went to outpatient. Mm -hmm. I mean, the injuries are consistent with what she described, but how it occurred, I'm not sure how that not happens. Not a clue. She'd be running out of body time. Time. If, it, if it happened the way she explained it. But, but the, just, the pictures of the injuries are, are, consistent, are consistent with that with happening. That. So. But um, it's just, you know, and she did make a statement that she has a very high deductible, but she was in the ER December 30th, so I'm assuming her deductible had been long since paid. No, no, it's just very high deductible. It is a hard set of facts. I mean, that is you not know, to be one of them things up like that. <laughs> no, and I mean, That's I actually heavy. saw... Brian and John stamping on them, yeah. you know, and the only way that I'm thinking is if you're walking and it was loose, if you step on it, how do you put your other foot right on it, number one, unless you jumped on it when it was loose, but again. Are, are we having her... flip through the air. Right, well, I guess I'll ask you, Chuck. Or, <laughs> yes. <laughs> I mean, will she be signing some sort of waiver? Yeah, yeah, we'll have a release. Oh, yeah, that's the we're getting yeah. our funds. That yeah. We pay our yeah, that this settles all of this. Okay. Yeah, this, I'll, I'll have this. I was a bit concerned when I read her title. Yeah. Yes. Yeah, she happens to be in the insurance industry. Yeah, insurance. <laughs> Very nice lady, though. I, I had probably a 10 or 15 minute conversation with her. And she's very nice I'm lady. sure she yeah. had. But, but when it, when I was surprised seeing what her business was that she did not get the names of the two women that were there right. that were going to help her. Um, picture of the scene. Picture of the scene when it occurred. Right. And I'm thinking, you're in insurance. These are it's just more, primary things. It's just more that kind of adds to the, to the little bit of 
a story there. I'm not sure if that's exactly how it went down, but yeah. the entries are consistent. Do you really want to just... Yeah. Yeah. Okay. 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 Yes. Yeah, everyone make quick 10 grand just go out and slip the ball at Walmart. Yeah. Probably take a check on the way out. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> you're right. Um, Chuck, anything else other than the... Uh... Nothing unless anybody had any comments on the uh, irrigation users or disconnect list. Still, no, um, we did run into um, an issue today. Uh, we were doing the uh, zero consumption report. And um, we get to this home on uh, Burwich. It's the very first home. As soon as you leave eight and cross the street to the right, uh, I believe the gentleman is a Lee County Sheriff's Office officer. Yeah. No, he's across. Um, when you're leaving. So when you cross the street from eight to nine, he's yeah. immediately to the right. Yeah. Yes. And then the other house to the left is just sold. Um, they're doing. They a cut down that beautiful tree. Yeah, frangy pansy. I know. Beautiful. They're very aromatic. Um, and I actually have a cutting of it at the house, so I kept way before they even cut it down. Oh. Um, so we had to, we were doing the zero consumption report. Um, we get to that house, um, the, the police officer's house, and I go and I'm checking the meter and Lee's turning on the irrigation and there's only one gallon on the meter. My dirty, this brand new meter, Lee, they're not even using. And uh, he turns the water on and the meter's not moving. Oh. I'm like, look at the meter number, look at the address. I'm like, we're at the right spot. Go over to the next door neighbor, make sure their meter box isn't there. It's not. So, fast forward, that was about three weeks ago. Um, an irrigation guy came up to me and said, Hey, I'm at this address on Burr, which I need you to have no water. Said, All right. He's like, It's a house uh, right at the car path. I said, I don't know exactly what we're talking about. I'll be up there in a minute. So, Lee and I go up there, and um, they have like over 200,000 gallons in their meter, but they don't have any pressure. So, I'm like, something's weird here. Like, what doesn't add up? So we've come to find out that basically, there, when you cross the street, the house to the left is getting water that's going through this person's meter, but they are bypassed somehow. We don't know how they're bypassed for the house on the right. The house on the left, if they want to run water, their water has to go through not only their neighbor's meter, but then through their meter. So they haven't been getting any water because somebody shut it off. Somebody shut the neighbor's house, the cop's house off, because they get water. So either they hooked it into potable water, or they, which I highly doubt they did, because I was just, just going to send it to the skyrocket, or it's been bypassed. So what we're going to do is we're going to cut it out, cut the neighbor's house that need water, that don't have any water. We're going to cut it out and hook it back up to the back side of that, so when that water goes through, it doesn't go okay. through that meter. And then we got to somehow try to figure out, where is this meter bypass? Okay. Yeah. So, yeah. So that's a, that was, and what's funny about it is the, the pipe that goes to the house on the left actually goes underneath the car pad. It goes straight into the valve box. There's no poly pipe or anything. Like everyone's on poly. There's just straight hard PVC pipe from underneath the car pad. And I started to think, I was like, was this done like this on purpose? Because who would go to that length as a homeowner to put that pipe underneath the car pad and tie it into your neighbor? And when are you going to have time for the water to be off? the system to tie this in, all in. So, huh. because the, the, there is a spot when you cross over where their meter box is at the house on the left, there's only a, a spot of dirt, you know, that's about this wide and you've got their, the edge of their driveway and then the edge of that car path. So it's a very small area. you got a phone box in there, some mm -hmm. cable. So I'm thinking maybe the people installing it did it like that, ran that pipe under the, to feed them, but then they, they hooked it up. I don't, I don't know. Okay. I'm still working on it. It's still... It's a mystery. Progress. Still okay. in progress. I'll keep us posted. But somebody's definitely getting free water for a long, long time. Okay. But you know, <laughs> I know you're working on the zero one, but under two dollars, we got like 200 homes. No, yeah, yeah. Well, That's a lot of them. So a lot of them, we do check all of them. But what we do is when we consistently find that this meter's on or this one's on every month, but we make notes. All right, the control is bad, or yeah. the, you know, it's locked out. Um, they're just not running water. Most of the time, their controller's bad. They don't care. They don't there are a lot of people that aren't running water. Right. Oh, yeah. um, you know, so we have constantly make notes, and we go through that list, and we'll look and say, all right, lockout. Take them out. We know they're still locked out. And then, all right, this is the third month in a row. This is the irrigation box. Is good bad. We might skirt by and look at it. Yeah, it's still unplugged from the wall. Keep it moving. You know what I mean? Why am I going to bother? You know, because a lot of them, even when we first started doing this, if the 
control was bad, we would still test the meter. We'd still turn it on, find a way to manually turn on the system, look at the meter, okay, the meter's good. Mm -hmm. What they want to do is run the waters on that. Yeah. Okay. We're, that's pretty up to date. I mean, that's, we're pretty tied up. We don't have very many. Uh, the ones that are not running water are pretty much either choosing to or just don't care. God, you would think their yards would look like. Oh, they did. If you they really did. took the time to really drive around and look. Yeah. Some of them look. Weymouth, Weymouth is bad. Um, a lot of stuff on Braxfield in between, real bad. Yeah, there's a lot of the same streets. Um, yeah. Yeah. The only other thing I would say is just a reminder that next month is a six o'clock. Yeah. Six o'clock. Yeah. I do have some things. Mm -hmm. yes. okay. uh, One third. Yes. So I don't know if we're ready for that next. I'm ready for you. Okay. Um, I got an email from a resident. She's, they received a $95.25 irrigation bill. They admit that they discovered a broken sprinkler head and they've since had it fixed. Is it possible that the CDD would waive the $95.25? What they typically do is um, I'll take a look at their account history. If they haven't been a habitual high user over the last 12 months, is we'll give them a one-time um, relief, if you will. And we can't dispute the fact that the water went through the meter, but we'll charge base rate for the entire consumption. And that usually uh, works well with the residents. So what she needs to do is just reach out to the uh, billing phone number, Anna Vivian. That's on her bill, and Anna will touch base with me by email, give me an account history, and then I, I do a sign off. Do you want me to give it to you now, or just she needs to go through the proper? Okay. Let's just have her call the billing office, customer service office on the bill, and yes, we, we do have an opportunity for one time really. Chuck, is she you, you, you took a lot nicer.